What is up? My name is Scott and I'm going to provide you an OBS scene switcher tutorial. We're going to talk about easy ways to switch from one scene to another to make your live streams effortless. Stay tuned for the details. Get some. Woo! If you're interested in YouTube tools, tech and tips, subscribe and click the bell for notification every Tuesday. I do the heavy duty research and you get, get the, the subscribers. Hoorah! Okay, the first method we're going to learn is using hotkeys. That means you can push a button and assign the scene to the button. You hit the button, goes to the next scene. The second one is length of time. It's really great when you're having music play in that specific scene and when the music comes to the end, it automatically moves to another scene. That's really cool. And then finally, we're going to set up um, scene switching based on what application you're on in your computer, which is really freaking cool. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Here we go. All right, let's head over to OBS and we'll check out two scenes that I've made, one each with its own background. We'll test it now with the hotkey. Here we go. Works good. As you can see, I've assigned it to one and two on my, key on my keyboard here, and it works beautifully. Let me show you how it's done. It's pretty simple. Okay, make sure that you have two scenes available in your OBS program. Let's go in there now. I'll click the OBS program, go into settings, and we will hit hotkeys. Now, the titles on the left that are margin that are margin left, those are the titles of the scenes. I want to go down to the two test ones that I have, test 111. I'll just simply select the switch to scene field and hit the number. That designates if I hit the one key, it will go to test 111. And the same thing goes for 222. Two, two. I'll hit 2, and I'm good. You can remove these numbers if you hit the clear key, OK? You can also highlight the field and hit hold and press and hold shift and hit the number. And that gives you even more key options, OK? And I'll, I'll let you know that the new version of OBS also allows you to mute and unmute the individual sources for each scene. So what does that mean? It means that you could potentially add a sound uh, media source to your individual scene and turn it on and turn it off with a keystroke. So for example, maybe you would want to have um, a live contest, right? Or maybe you would like to, uh, like if you're reviewing websites, maybe you want to hear some applause if, if the website looks cool, right? That kind of a thing. You can do, the sky's the limit with this thing. It's so powerful now that they've included the mute and unmute with this with the sources which is really cool so experiment with it have fun it's very simple and easy let's move on to controlling scenes with time here we go okay in order for this to work i want you to install a plugin so go to google and type in the following words obs studio advanced scene switcher okay and it should be the first link that you see so click that You'll know you're at the right place when you're at the op Open Broadcast Software website. It's a blue, p blue page. You can't make a mistake when you're there because you know right away it's blue. There's not too many blue websites out there. Anyway, uh, all the instructions are here. It is compatible with both Mac and Windows, which is kind of a rarity with OBS. That's a good thing. Uh, download the program by clicking the white button and put it onto your system. Installation instructions are also included on this page. So get that up and running, and then let's proceed. Okay, we're going to talk about test 2222 and test 111. Uh, currently, I have a timer set in test 1111, and when it counts down, it goes and just prints the word go after it's finished. But what I would like it to do is automatically move over to test 2222 after five seconds automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and go into the advanced scene switcher which we just installed and as you can see there are many many w different ways to do automatic scene switching but we're going to focus on scene sequencer okay that's where the tab that you want to click and it says when make make the pull down select 1111 is active switch to test 2222 after and now it asks for the seconds i'm going to put 5 in here and use the following transition. I'm going to hit fade and then I will hit the plus key here and it adds the command into the advanced scene switcher. So basically this is like a command creator. Now before you do anything else, go to the general tab and make sure that this thing says stop. If it says start, it won't work. You have to make the button read stop in order for this to work. Okay, so 
it's currently running right now. So I'll close this out. I'll go and click the test one 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 two one zero boom it works after five seconds so you can do this for all kinds of cool stuff you can set this up for a intro screen for your live streams where you play some music and have maybe a title and a logo for your live stream for your brand and it will automatically go right into the next screen based on a time setting that you set up with this advanced uh, scene switcher plugin okay moving on now, if you're a gamer or you're planning to do online live tutorials, for example, maybe you're educating your people on Photoshop, this scene switcher is incredible. And I'll tell you why, because it allows you to have the system switch to an appropriate scene based on the application that you're using on your computer. For example, if you're teaching someone Photoshop, you could create a scene with a source that shows a window capture of Photoshop, okay? And then you tell the scene switcher, to go to that scene when you open up Photoshop. So you don't have to worry about where to go while you're doing your tutorial. It does it all for you automatically based on the application you're on. Now I'll have you know that this is called the Advanced Scene Switcher and the software comes pre-installed with OBS. The only problem is uh, it is not compatible with the automatic scene switcher that I just explained to you in regards to switching scenes based on time. So what I'm going to show you right now real quick is how to temporarily deactivate the automatic scene switcher. It's real easy. Here we go. If you go into your OBS program and type in tools, sub choice, automatic scene switcher, if you go in here, the box opens up and you don't have a plus and minus. In other words, there's no way to actually create a command to do what you want to do. For example, if you go into Tools, Advanced Scene Switcher, which is what I previously installed, go into one of the tabs here, you'll see a plus and minus. Upon clicking that plus, the command is sent and executed for the task that you want. That does not exist for the Advanced Scene Switcher. So what we have to do is turn this off. And we do that by going into your OBS program going into the contents folder, sub-choice resources, and then OBS plugins, okay? And these plugins are, are uh, .so, that's the extension that they use. And you wanna go into the advanced scene switcher and simply rename it from .so to .off, okay? .off, let's do that now. Hit use off. It'll ask you, it may, it may prompt you for, for your security code, that's fine. And it renames it. Now, you have to restart OBS. Click exit and restart. And now go to tools and select automatic scene switcher. And the plus and minus now is there. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, I have two scenes set up. One is called test one, the other is test two. Test one contains a window screen of a Chrome browser showing the late night call-in show, Night Strix, by the way, it's a great channel, check him out, he's really funny. Night Strix, the other screen is a window screen that shows my Photoshop browser. Here I'm showing you a graphic from Random Shenanigans that I just built for her, another great channel. Uh, check her out. And so now the next step is to set up the connection between the application and the switch off. So we wanna to go to Tools, Sub choice automatic screen switcher. And the first thing to do is this pull down here, which is to designate the program that does that is responsible for executing the switch. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select Photoshop, which is right, it's cause these are kind of hard to find because they're not in alphabetical order. Photoshop CC, okay. And then I want it to link to test two. Hit the plus sign, the command gets inserted. Then I want to find Chrome which I believe is up here somewhere. Where, where is it? Chrome. And I want it to link to test one. Hit the plus key again. Now, you gotta make sure you click that start button, okay? Because that gets it to actually activate. So we'll hit start and we'll hit close. Okay, I'm ready to demonstrate how this thing works. We're gonna open up the three screens. We have OBS for screen one on the far left here. We've got the Chrome browser at the bottom of the page on the right and we have Photoshop right above it okay so we've got three screens they're all looking good so in theory when I click one of these screens they switch and there you have it it switches right back and forth from the Chrome screen it switches to the test one for the Chrome view which is showing night Strix, and for test two which shows the Photoshop screen all I have to do is click Photoshop and BAM 
it goes right in. Now if you like my tutorials and you want some more information, consider clicking this great video that explains how to make a live stream countdown timer to sort of get your audience spiced up before you start your show. I explain what plugins to use, how to set it up, how to get some music in there, and how to switch it automatically based on time. You'll love it. Click that right there. I'll talk to you later.